Hey, this is the CND channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my prediction for Strike Force Challengers 20, which is going to happen on Showtime on November 18th. Um, main event's interesting in the sense that both guys are coming off losses. One of the guys, uh, Lumumba Sayers, is coming off a loss to Dick Brunson. He's the first fight with the card. Uh, he's fighting in the first fight of this card, um, which is kind of odd. You'd think it'd be switch around. I'm personally looking forward more to uh, Julia Budd versus Ronda Rousey. Uh, the prelim card's pretty good. They have some solid guys there now. And I'm liking that Strikeforce has a stronger prelims. Like Bill Cooper's fighting, Quinn Mulhern, Bobby Green maybe is fighting. I'm not too sure. Uh, according to some sites, they say he's fighting on the undercard and other sites saying he's not. Um... Okay, so let's just go start with the main event and uh, go on down. Uh, Anton Britt is going to fight Lou Mumbai Sayers. Uh, Anton Britt hasn't fought in a year, and he's making his first cut to uh, 185. Um, he's coming off a two-fight losing streak, whereas Sayers is coming off uh, his own, uh, coming off a loss as well. Um, Sayers, uh, you know, interesting thing about him was. Uh, Wins and losses are by submission, actually. Um, he does have uh, some uh, good wrestling base and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, Brit's pretty much kind of the opposite. Um, no submission victories to his credit. All wins by KO or TKO, nine of them. Um, so this one's kind of tough for me to call. I usually go with the guy. If it's striker versus grappler, I usually go with the grappler, but in this case, Sayers only has six fights. Whereas Britt has 16. So there's there's a lot going on against him. Obviously, he hasn't fought in over a year. Um, but I also feel that Britt has also fought the stronger competition. I mean, this guy fought like Fei Zhao, uh, among some other uh, good fighters as well. Uh, OSP is another guy. Um, so, um, and I don't know how doing this cut in it to 185, but I am gonna go with Anton Britt to win this one. Not super confident in it, but I, I feel that he definitely has the experience over tougher competition um, than Sayers. Okay, next fight after that. Uh, Judy Budd is going to fight Ronda Rousey. Uh, definitely a striker versus grappler match. Uh, Judy Budd, strong striker. He did, she did lose to Amanda Nunez by strikes. She came back and beat uh, Jermaine Durandamy. Uh, by a very boring, um, you know, grinding uh, performance. Uh, yeah, her, her fist, she's obviously working on her grappling, but it's definitely not going to be on the level of Ronda Rousey, Olympic uh, judo bronze medalist, all wins in the first round uh, by armbar. Um, Rousey, though, is not going to have the striking that Judy Budd has. So. Uh, the thing with Rousey, though, I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey to win this one. For one, I'm a big fan of hers. I also think she's very attractive. Uh, but the other thing that, that does concern me, though, is that uh, in her last fight against like Sarah Delalio, she, she really reached for to get that clinch. And, you know, you never know if uh, Julia Budd would, would see that and maybe go for a knee some sort of short strike like an elbow or, or short hook or an uppercut or something like that uh, so I'm um, you know so obviously they're both still pretty green um, in MMA um, the thing with Rossi once she did get the clinch she really forced to ta uh, that uh, takedown um, you know she opted to go for the flying armbar um, so, but I, I'm still going to go with Ronda Rousey to win this one. I, I think she'll be able to take the fight to the floor and, and maybe e even get a uh, submission victory. Um, I'm actually curious to see where she's going to go in, in uh, her career. I, I'd like to see her fight Cyborg in the future. L really like to see her fight Gina Carano. That'd be really cool as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, the law, you know, with Strike Force potentially going away, it kind of sucks for women's MMA. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy watching it. I know a lot of other people, some don't care for it. But, you know, kind of sucks. Um, but uh, otherwise, as far as this fight goes, yeah, um, 
I have Ronda Rousey winning this one. Okay, next right after that, Adeline Amagov is going to fight Anthony Smith. Um, tough. Um, interesting fight here. I remember Amagov's last fight. Uh, he, he seemed to be really tired. He went for like, there are times he'd go for like this wild haymaker and he spun himself uh, off balance. It, it was actually um, kind of funny. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, um, you know, Amagov's only loss is his first uh, MMA bout. However, Anthony Smith has been doing very well for himself. He's been more well-rounded, really young too, 23 years old, six-fight win streak, um, seven wins by K or Tico, and six wins by submission. So, um, you know, I got to go with Anthony Smith. Um, he, he comes off as a bit, a little bit more well-rounded. Um, Amagov's strength is in the stand-up, but Anthony Smith has a pretty, pretty strong stand-up himself, and he does have a, a pretty decent ground game as well. So I'm going with uh, Anthony Smith to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we have TJ Cook versus uh, Trevor Smith. Tough one to call here. Um, you definitely have uh, different stylistic uh, stuff here. Um, Trevor Smith, you know... Um, seven wins by submission, four fight winning streak, never been past the second round. TJ Cook's only losses, three losses, are by submission. And most of the wins, uh, nine wins, or 12 wins, nine done by uh, KO or TKO. He's coming off a five fight win streak. So, uh, really tough to call. Um, I'll go with the grappler to win this one. Um, so, you know, the. So I'll go with Trevor Smith to win this one. Not super confident in this pick. Both these guys are doing really well. Um, but I'll, I'll go with Trevor Smith to win this one. Okay, next right after that, we have uh, Derek Brunson versus Nate James. Uh, Nate James uh, trains out of AKA. Um, he has a really strong wrestling base. Uh, Two-fight win streak. And, and he recently beat Danilo Villafort. And, and if I kind of lean more towards Danilo Villafort, but... Uh, I, I look I look pretty high on uh, Villa Fort, so I'm a bit biased there. But Brunson, strong wrestling base, still pretty young. Um, rounding out, he's really rounding out his game, uh, his striking. Um, I, I gotta go with uh, the undefeated Derek Brunson to win this one. You know, he, he's a prospect to look out for. You know, some of these guys um, on these challengers cards, you know, are are prospects. You know, and. Uh, you know, but they, they really go, they fly under the radar. But, um, yeah, I, I'm curious to see what uh, Derek Brunson can do in his MMA career. Um, he, he's pretty solid. Uh, I have him beating uh, Nate James. Okay, on to the uh, prelims now. Uh, Bill Cooper is going to fight Matt Ricehouse. Uh, Matt Ricehouse looked pretty solid against Ryan Couture. He, he is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Not as high level as Bill Cooper. And Bill Cooper has all the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu accolades. Um, he's, um, both these guys are, are still relatively new to game and undefeated. Um, Bill Cooper, 2 0 record. Uh, both wins by submission, and he never went past the second round. Where's Matt Ricehouse? It's 5 0. Recently beating uh, Ryan Gator. Um, you know, I probably should go with Ricehouse here, but I'm going to go with Cooper. Ricehouse did show some pretty good takedown defense against uh, Ryan Couture. His ground game's really good, too. Stand-up's not too bad, either, but I kind of have a feeling with uh, Cooper's uh, pedigree. I should be able to take the fight to the ground and, and work his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, Jiu game to get the win here. Um, tough one to call, though, actually. Okay, uh, I don't know if this fight is happening. I saw it on ShareDog, but other fights don't. Other websites don't show it. Uh, Bobby Green was uh, was supposed to fight Isaac Valley Flag. Uh, ShareDog is now saying that um, he's gonna fight James Reese. So I, I I don't really know if that's true or not. But if it is happening, I I have Bobby Green winning that one. It's way more experienced than James Reese. Um, next fight after that, uh, Keith Barry is gonna fight Andreas Spag. Both these guys, um, you know, uh, they're uh, pretty good. Uh, now, what can I say? Uh, well, Keith Barry, he's on a three-fight losing streak. He, he just lost his last fight against uh, Jean Vellante. Um, most of his wins are by uh, KO or TKO. Um, 
Andreas Spang though, um, he's pretty solid. His only, uh, his only loss was to Ali Mokdad in uh, MFC, if I'm not mistaken. Um, all, all his wins are in the first round. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go with Andreas Spang to win this one. Okay, and finally we have uh, David Hullett versus Quinn Mulhern. Uh, both these guys are uh, submission specialists. Um, Hullet has 12 uh, wins by submission. Whereas Quinn Mulhern has uh, 11 wins by submission. Uh, I'll go with Quinn Mulhern here, though. His only losses are to Mike Guyman and Jason High. He's a very lanky guy. Um, High kind of exposes uh, wrestling or lack of Well, High is just a really uh, high level wrestler. But, uh, you know, I I've been impressed with Quinn. Uh, Quinn Mulhern, he, he's really impressed with my like, King the Cage. I hope he can get a a win here over Hollett. Um, he's still a prospect despite you know getting you know really not having anything against Jason High. But um, yeah, I'll go with uh, Quinn Mulhern to win this one. Uh, so that's it for my predictions for Strike Force Challengers 20. If you have any comments, leave it, just leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.